Here we go again. Here we go again. Mike Freeman, supposedly a sports reporter for USA Today. Well, you know, let me get a little bit more specific. His actual job title is Sports Race and Inequality Editor. What the hell does that even mean? Sports Race and Inequality Editor. Someone, please give me an example of inequality in sports. Does Mike Freeman talk about the lack of Hispanics playing in the NFL? Is that inequality? Does he talk about the lack of white people in the NBA? Is that inequality? Of course not. According to USA Today, inequality is defined as impartiality towards a group that fits the narrative that we are currently pushing. What that means is, USA Today victimizes groups of people and uses them to further their agenda. The agenda is to silence you, take away your right to free speech, and force you to comply with their propaganda. We cannot have dissenting voices. That is too dangerous. Misinformation, disinformation, malinformation, inequality, inclusion, diversity, woke, global warming. Oh, oh, whoa, wait. I mean, mythical climate change. These are all what I call trigger words. These are words social justice warriors use to create erections in their community circle jerks. You can't have a good sausage fest with a bunch of soft dongs. You can't show them naked women, SJWs, they're afraid of real women. Show them a picture of Leah Thomas though, boners all around. And speaking of Leah Thomas, and this kind of ties into what we're about to talk about. The woke media, their new favorite comparison is comparing their beacons of courage to Jackie Robinson. This is such a bullshit comparison. There is a huge, huge difference between Jackie Robinson and Leah Thomas. Jackie Robinson endured actual discrimination. Leah Thomas is not enduring discrimination. She's dealing with vitriol, disgust. Jackie Robinson did not choose to be born black. KC, Leah Thomas didn't choose to be born with franken beans. Yeah, I know. But he did choose to identify as a woman. Notice, I didn't say become a woman. Leah Thomas chose to identify as a woman. Normal people can sympathize with what Jackie Robinson went through. I have zero sympathy for Leah Thomas. I sympathize with the young women who Leah Thomas fucked over with his bullshit antics, but I have no sympathy for Leah Thomas. The latest bullshit comparison to Jackie Robinson is Kentanji Brown Jackson. Like I said, Mike Freeman supposedly covers sports for USA Today. Now you may be wondering, what the hell does Kentanji Brown Jackson have to do with sports? I'm wondering the same fucking thing. I have no idea how a Supreme Court justice nominee has anything to do with sports. But leave it to Darth Vader and USA Today to make a lame attempt to intertwine sports and politics. When I started talking about the infusion of politics into sports, I don't know, 18 months ago, it wasn't an everyday thing. There would be days where I couldn't find topics to cover, couldn't find things to talk about. It was a slow infection. It's almost like cancer when you think about it. Someone gets diagnosed with cancer, it starts slow. You may feel fine for months. You may even have cancer for months and not even know about it. It is the same with how politics infected sports. It was gradual. It was slow. Then what happened? It rapidly spread, where now there are not enough hours in the day for me to cover everything that I need to talk about. Which reminds me, quick programming note, over the next few weeks, I'm going to start posting three videos every day instead of the usual two. But anyway, back to the matter at hand. Headline at USA Today, which they really need to change their name. USA Today no longer represents the vast majority of Americans. Instead of USA Today, change the name to The Daily Dumbass. Headline at The Daily Dumbass, written by Captain Shitfuck Mike Freeman. Kentanji Brown Jackson and Jackie Robinson have commonality, calmness in the face of racism.
For all my social justice warriors out there, commonality means they are similar. I know you guys get confused with words over four letters in length. Besides the fact that they're both African American, what the hell does Jackie Robinson have in common with KBJ? According to Private Freeman, leader of the Stormtroopers, they both endured blistering racism. What? What? During these hearings, has someone thrown a racial slur at Kentanji Brown Jackson? Has she been discriminated against based on her skin color? No and no. What constitutes blistering racism in 2022? Back in the 1940s, 1950s, Jackie Robinson's era, racism was defined as discriminating against someone due to the color of their skin. In 2022, racism is defined as this. Oh, so racist. I can't believe they wrote CRT. Discrimination. Let me crank up my fake outrage and tell my fellow nerds on woke Twitter how fake mad I am about this bullshit. You know what else constitutes racism in 2022? Asking tough questions. Huh. Hmm. That's interesting. That is real interesting. Where were all these cries of discrimination when Amy Coney Barrett was going through the nomination process? The woke media, the dumbass far-left Democrats... They attempted to ruin her reputation. What about the Kavanaugh guy? I didn't hear cries of discrimination when Cory Booker was questioning him. And they were making shit up. It was pure propaganda. Let me show you what Mike Freeman considers an unfair, tough question. Roll the film. Uh, can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? We have fallen so far backwards as a society. Think about how ridiculous this is. This woman has been nominated as a Supreme Court justice, the most powerful court in the world. And we have to ask her to define a woman? That is a question I would expect my four-year-old nephew to answer on his pre-K final exam. Can you tell me the difference between a boy and a girl? Yes, Miss Jones, boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. My four-year-old knows that, but apparently, Kentanji Brown Jackson doesn't. What kind of fucking response was that? I can't define a woman. I'm not a biologist. Well, I'm not a librarian, but I know a fucking book when I see it. I'm not woke, but I can sure as hell spot a social justice warrior. I'm not a meteorologist, but when I see lightning, I know a storm is coming. Let me tell you what Mike Freeman and the rest of the woke media is doing. They know yesterday was a disaster for their beloved Kentanji Brown Jackson. When she was first nominated, not much was known about her. Even some conservative sites were selling her as a moderate choice. It was sold as one of the only good decisions that Joe Biden has made. God knows. God knows. His vice presidential choice was a complete fuck up. That woman is completely clueless. Ukraine is a small place somewhere. It was invaded by Russia, which is a big place. And uh, I, I think Russia lives next to Ukraine. This is just bad. It's like Leah Thomas invading women swimming. Oh, shit. I'm not supposed to say that. Ha, ha, ha. What I meant to say, it's like the evil white man not wanting to teach CRT to our children. Kamala Harris is a complete fucking idiot. What the, mo what the woke media is doing right now, they're trying to victimize Kentanji Brown Jackson. They're trying to get you to feel sorry for her. Look at the injustice. Look at the racism she is being put through. Also, she can get some job. This is not just some job. This is a job she gets to hold 
her life. This is the most powerful court in the world. It's not like she is being interviewed for an AT&T call center. She will be deciding the most important cases in the country. Cases like whether or not peeping Tom across the street has the right to look through your child's bedroom window. Her being asked tough questions on important issues, it's not racist, it's logical. Logic. Something social justice warriors pretend to not understand. They know yesterday was a complete disaster. They know normal people don't like kitty porn. They think it's weird when a woman can't define a woman. So the woke media... They have to cover up. They have to make up fake racism, fake misogyny to distract you from the truth. The truth is, Kentanji Brown Jackson was initially sold as a moderate, but in reality, she is just another social justice warrior. Mike Freeman said, they're not calling her slurs, but they are using other racist tropes. You know what he's talking about? She was asked about critical race theory. Oh, oh. I get it now. So you want to teach racism to children with CRT, but if someone asks about it, it's racist. These people are the dregs of society, the lowest form of humanity. I get so tired of hearing about lack of representation in government. And I'm not talking about race when I say that. I'm talking about social justice warriors. You have no rights to have representation in our government. If you want to live in a social justice utopia, go to fucking Venezuela. Go to China. You want your rights taken away? Go live there. We don't want you here in America. Leave us the hell alone with your sick bullshit. But let me know what you guys think. Mike Freeman, the supposed sports guy at USA Today, trying to victimize Kentanji Brown Jackson. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. See you guys later.